Hello, my name is Firas Salem, a legal consultant at Hussein Luta and Associates. In the UAE, a labor relationship begins when an employee accepts a, lab a labor offer made by the employer. Thereafter, the parties will sign a labor contract documenting the elements of their relationship. Subsequently, the employer will register the labor contract with the Ministry of Labor and as a result, an official labor contract will be issued. In this video, I'm going to talk about the legal implications resulting from the presence of different legal documents covering the labor relationship. But before I do that, it's important to cite some legal rules that apply to the subject. First, as per the UAE civil law, all the documents that we came to mention are regarded as binding contracts. The second rule is that any contract signed between specific parties supersedes a previous contract that has been signed between the same parties with the same subject. Third, any terms in the contract that violate the law should be considered as null and void unless they are advantages to the employee. Finally, any labor relationship should be registered with the immigration and labor authorities or else the employer and the employee may face hefty fines. Therefore, and based on the points we came to mention, we can conclude the following points. The first point is that the offer letter is a binding document and any rights of the employee contained therein are protected. Nevertheless, the parties can amend it through a subsequent contract subject to not decreasing the rights of the employee unless this is explicitly approved by the latter and the contract. The second important point that we should mention is regarding the all unofficial labor documents that should be registered by the employer with the Ministry of Labor and as a result copies of the official labor contract should be retained by the parties. The third point is regarding the official labor contract that should include the main elements of the labor relationship such as the commencement date, salary, leaves, so on and so forth. Nevertheless, the parties can add special conditions to it, such as the profit sharing and the commission. Anyhow, the offer letter and labor contract might include conditions and terms that are different to the official labor contract. And in this case, the different terms will apply subject to two conditions. One, they should not violate any law, public order, or pertinent rules and regulations. Second, the different terms should not impair or decrease the rights of the employee as per the official labor contract and the law. On the other hand, when a labor matter is brought to the attention of the court, the latter has the full discretion to extract the rights and obligations of the parties from the documents and facts surrounding the case. Therefore, all documents signed between the employee and the employers are important and as such, it is highly recommended for both of them to keep copies of the same for their own record.